name is Kristen Farrell. I'm the CEO of Chi and Dominica Township Public Library. I've been with the library for about two and a half years, community member for over 20. Um, the library itself has history uh, in the community. We're in a historical building. The building itself dates to 1859. Um, the library hasn't always been here. We've been here since about 95, 96. Um, but since I've worked here, staff share stories of things that happen and whether it's camaraderie amongst the staff, we just share those things. Um, uh, but they're interesting things and, you know, working in a community and being a part of a community, I love when our patrons share stories of things that they know of the community of Melrose. Um, you always try to tell yourself that didn't really happen. Um, so I know there was one evening I had come in and there was uh, bobby pins. Um, things that women used to hold back their hair, and I didn't think anything of it. Um, just kind of picked them up and put them in the garbage. Mentioned it to the staff and just said, came in and there were bobby pins on the bookshelf. Never seen bobby pins on the bookshelf before, um, and it would have been over um, uh, a night that we closed and came back in, and the cleaner would have been in. So I was like, why did the cleaner pick up the pile of bobby pins? Um, so the staff at the time didn't think anything of it, and a couple weeks later, the same thing. Bobby pins were back in the same spot. So that was a little bit different or odd, and not normal, I guess you would say. Um, why would somebody be taking a bobby pins to the exact same spot and putting them on a bookshelf? Um, and at that time, it was. Now that I'm thinking of, we're talking about it. It was during our COVID closure, so less people in the building. Um, no programs are running. Um, there wouldn't be anyone back. Because the space that we're in now is heavily used now, present for our tutoring program. But at that time, there was no program running in the library. Um, and we would have had a little bit more control of knowing who was in the library. Um, staff have talked about one particular area in the library that they have different feelings in. I don't know the right words to use or say. Um, but not that they're scared to go in that area, but there's a different sense or feeling when they're shelving in that area, or they've all had an experience in that area of books being um, shelved spine backwards, but not spine backwards where one of our preschool patrons could reach, but higher up, um, or books falling off the shelf, or um, just the general sense that they're not the only one in that area at the time. Uh, a couple times we have we've had different smells, whether it's something that there's a legit explanation for it. <laughs> um, somebody leaving something in the garbage um, from their food. Um, sometimes it's cold and it shouldn't feel cold because we have perfectly working furnaces. <laughs> um, um, the one staff did talk about an instance where she was shelving in a book kind of fell off the shelf in that same area um, and then in the same general area a door being shut behind her when otherwise it shouldn't have been shut because there's no draft there's no way a heavy wind could come through in the location she was uh, so it would be i guess to my right this way so the west side of the building which would be in the original structure of the building built in 1859 so that if you those that are familiar with the library um, where I'm sitting now, where the main collection is kept, um, that's the, the historical side of the building. The other half is the addition that was put on um, from 1995 on. Yeah, we have like a reference kind of collection. We do have historical books. We have older books. Some are part of like the regular collection that you can borrow. Some are to be kept in the library. In fact, with the limestone itself, the limestone is from Lawnsdale. So it was taken from, so if you visit Lawnsdale, you'll see uh, the church, uh, the um, watermark books, and I believe the mill. They're all made from the same limestone as part of the building. So we'll set up um, that grid. Yep. We'll take it back here somewhere. And so we need to figure out. Hello. Oh. Ah, too bad. <laughs> yeah. Dosh. Oh, um, um, shucks. Not a ghost. <laughs> that's what like you're say. <laughs> shucks, shucks. Um, I think the easiest thing to do would be to set it down here. I don't want to blind you. It's actually pretty bright. Uh, like, what about there? Yeah. I could probably prop it up a little if you need to. Yes, this is perfectly. Okay. Okay, so about 70 degrees. There you go. You want to get this? Yep. Do you want this camera back there? Do you 
Did you want a stationary camera back there? Yes. Okay. The answer is yes. So if we put it here. Is it going to be okay going through the heat? It should be okay. If it's dark, there won't be any glare. Yet. It should be all right. Because this isn't shining on that. It's just shining underneath it. Okay, so we can plug it in. What is that? I don't know, but it was crazy. I got a bit of white noise before, and it said, I'm, I'm watching. I, that's what it said. Oh Did God. it just say that? I feel like that's what it said, it, but it was like a really like weird voice. It was like that. I don't know, it was weird, man. Okay, so we got that laser grid set up there. We're going to shut these lights off in a second. We're going to just leave that going for the night because that's supposed to be the, the corner. Um, we'll do a spirit box session over here because I just picked up weight. And then you got weight over here. Center slash Township Hall uh, in 1990 and libraries. Very small section of it was a library as well. Uh, in 1995, the community center was built down by the Melrose Diamonds, and the Township Hall was built right across the road here. And that's when this took over as the entire library. The library hasn't always been here. Um, it was located on the border of Shannonville and I believe the Tyananega Reserve. So this is the corner that a lot of people are creeped out by on the inside. I'm not really getting anything out of the ordinary here. <coughs> we have a uh, laser grid set up on the inside and we just got um, a hit on the REM pod. Summer. I 
was getting full sentences at his side, and I never got full sentences. Let's grab the top floor. River, is that you? How many people are here? Can somebody walk back there for us? Well, let's hang back there in the corner. That's nice. River, can you come talk to us, please? Can you tell us why you're still here? No, you can't come in. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Let me in. No. You. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Add it to my leg, please. What's that? It might be picking up the tripod. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's picking up the tripod like a person. That's why, I, yeah, try to look for those false positives, but there's some over here. That's what I was trying to. All right, let's see if there's anything back in here. Just where the window is. There's only one way to find out. Is anybody busy in here? Are we scared?
we're just going to decide if we're actually going to sit or stand because this sitting thing may not. It may, it it may help too. trigger it a little bit more. It might. Okay. I, I literally feel the urge to like run. Run. Run, but yeah. get up. Yeah, That's so what I said outside here. Yeah. But it's both of us. My heart's racing. Something's got something to say in there, right? Okay. Okay. Should we get it? Yeah. Please go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, was somebody shot? Oh, there was a kid. Are you running from the gun? I got chills back here. <laughs> it's weird because I can feel the bed right there. The but side of my face is cold. That, this is the side where I feel weird. Somebody's between you guys. Yeah. Who's standing between me and Tyler? River. River. Was there a killer on the loose? Did you have to meet? Him. Is the killer here with us now? That's what came out out there, didn't it? Safety first. I 
There's a woman in there that really wants to talk. I wonder if we can get her to sit down on this chair. <laughs> there was a bunch of voices still in there really quickly answering what you guys were asking. Yeah. My back was exposed and I needed it not to be. I think that might be the child. Yeah. I'm definitely picking up the child. Right. And the child wants to run. Is there running? They're hiding and buried in the woods. Is there woods by here? I don't imagine this was all. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. We're standing under a hot and I'm getting chills. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> Heavy. It's heavy. It is. It's, yeah. I never feel, I never feel this. And I got it from right here. Yeah, she had it. Like a pressure. I had it right between my eyes. I have nothing in my head, but now, in there, it felt like someone wanted me to, like, to where my knees actually buckled. Like, they come down. And I felt scared. Like, well, that's what he said, too, before, is like, it's like somebody comes in here and sets somebody down really yeah. hard. Yeah. I really very much so. Male, I, for sure. I still want to know what's going on with the female voice over here. Did you not tell you that something was being there? It, it feels like something has to do with like hiding over here. Yeah. It's more shy. Well, there isn't like, I mean, you can tell like everywhere, but like she's holding a child of stuff. We'll get Nick to look into that. Yeah. Because that's what this trial was taken. Yeah. Like at gunpoint. Yeah, and then buried. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm frustrated with the grid thing. I'm, okay. I'm not going to fight with that anymore. Whoa. Yeah, we're getting a lot of those. <laughs> Good Did thing you, we're doing it back here, then. They must know we're coming back here to do the sensory dive. Did you try shimming it up, like putting a quarter on the button and then taping yeah, it? Yeah, I used Whoa. to. Oh, there it is again. Okay. I used to. Run. What does that mean? Run where? I think they might be running. Seven. Seven? Is that your age? Are you running from home? Andrew could feel like somebody was... Playing. Hello. Hi. Kids. When we were outside, Andrew was feeling like somebody was being dragged to the south. A man. Did the man drag the kids? Back. Out back. What year are we in? John? Who is John? Does John have the gun? <clears throat> what year did this all happen? Arguing. About what? I said arguing. Are they who was arguing? Are they arguing about you? My camera just died. Wood. What? Are you in the woods? Mine. Were you buried? Are you the one turning the books around as a joke? Are you stuck here? Dead. Dead. Who's 
dead. Are you dead? Right behind you. Oh. <laughs> you, Andrew. Right behind Andrew. Run. We're not running. Yes. No. You're staying here. We're not running. Why are you trying I'm to coming? Stay? Okay. For you. We're not running. Dude, it was just the night vision. I'm still looking for her name. Your name, John. Secrets. It's not nice to keep secrets. Go down. The point. What secrets are you keeping? Surely you don't need to keep them anymore. <coughs> to hear what you have to say. Thank you. No. No, that's not going to happen. Why are you here? Somebody might fix it. One minute we're talking about the laser grid. Somebody might fix it. you from going over there. You don't have to stay here. There's something there. Are you afraid to go? Camera just shut off again. Yeah. It had two, it had two bars at a three. Because that's twice it's done that. Are you afraid to leave? Cover. C O V E R. Cover. People out there. Who's out there? You know these people? The people sound like they're violent people. Look to objects. Tell us about the objects. Look up. What do you see when you look People across the sky.
You can see people across the sky? Yes. Are they waiting for you? I want to be... Do you want to be with them? History. The references to across the sky could be coming from a Ganyogyahaga person who has died wishing to go there, but for some reason are stuck here on our physical plane. It is the place where they say the woman fell through the hole while digging up roots. Hence, starting our entire creation story. There would have been Mohawks settled in this area, as it is within the Simcoe Deed Treaty 3.5 boundary. It has always been our hunting and fishing land, but we settled here permanently after the American Revolution. Thank <laughs> you.